Hello everybody and welcome back to Pumpkin Days, where, my goodness me, ooh, lavender lemon lemonade. I, I'm going to have to like uh, multiply up some of that lavender, aren't I? Because I've got some enough for some lavender seeds. Maybe I'll put that in one of my uh, flower spots or something near the beehives. That'd be pretty cool. Crafting. We've got a pig plushie. Oh, I must be nearly through all these plushies right now. They are really cute though. I like my cow plushie. Where's the music today? I need to... I need to make some sound to make sure there is actually sound. Oh, there is, because I'm hearing a pop when I feed them. Okay, cool. That's all right then. It's fine. It's cool. So I'm going to water my crops, water my pistachio tree. There's the music. It's come back again. Yay. Just had a little little mini um, sort of pause between the tracks, I guess. But I cleaned up all the poops last night, so that's wonderful. We've got uh, lettuces. We've got sunflower seeds. I've got a strawberry harvest this morning as well. I would like to try and grab all the strawberries I can. I need to milk the cows and send the milk off as well. Um, I should have done, I think that we did the kidney beans now. So it's barley and milk. I'm not really growing barley right now, so I could do with doing that. But uh, let's, let's pick the strawberries and pop them in. Oh, not water them. We're done watering. We'll pick the strawberries, pop them in the fridge. And I'll go and water the orchard. And then I'm going to go and find all the people that I need to give stuff to. Sister Joan is a late riser generally. We have found out. She likes to just hang around in bed until about 2pm. So we've got time. And then I will find whoever it was that wanted the marble. 153 strawberries. <laughs> For harvest. See, a little patch like this doesn't actually seem like a huge farm plot, but it kind of does give you a lot of strawberries. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pop those in there because I don't need uh, strawberries. And then I'm gonna pop to the museum and pop to all the people that need. Oh, as I say, I'm gonna do my watering of my orchard first because that's really important. So things here are just basically looked after with a very small amount of work. Didn't get any meteorites uh, then. If I if I get a couple more meteorites, I will be able to get myself a nice uh, meteor axe or meteor pickaxe or something like that. Pickaxe would probably be what I'd make first, actually. Having a pickaxe that doesn't doesn't die would be amazing. So we're back to watering these again. That sidestepping motion is kind of very useful for watering of things. I'll water the first row and then I'll fill my watering can back up because it's a bit easier to do it that way, I think. Oh, look, those guys look like they're already watered. So a couple of them, the soil isn't drying out anymore and that might that might mean that they're okay at this point. I don't know. don't know how that goes, but... Maybe they do need to be watered up to the point where the soil goes black and they grow to their second stage. Maybe they still count as saplings right now, I don't know. Oh gosh, those uh, lemon trees grew big. <laughs> and this salt it might be more jam-packed than I think. Yeah, see those guys seem okay now. So maybe that was a me thing. Maybe I didn't realize quite how many phases there would be. So those cinnamon trees look done. But then these ones don't. Ah, okay. I think it might not be a bug then. It might be a me thing. It might be a me not realizing that they are not ready yet. So... I think once they get to this stage, then maybe this is where they they are proper fully grown and I messed up. I'm 
regardless. I'm going to get water on all of them. And if they then look like they're watered, hopefully now then, they will be, they'll be happy trees. And if that's the case, then definitely getting up to... The thing is, like last time I played as well, the, the trees were bugged. And I've read about bugs with the trees as well. But it might be that I'm being really unfair and they're not bugged at all. And they're absolutely fine. So this might be the last time I need to water these guys. So I apologise if I've been saying it's a bug and it's not. But uh, there was a, there is a bug, or, or was a bug anyway, with trees. If they've been completely fixed, then totally my apo my apologies for like blaming it on a bug. However, it might have been nice if the library book had maybe mentioned that the trees will go through two phases of growth and they need to be watered until the second phase of growth is, is there, you know? Oh my goodness, this place looks amazing. It looks like a little, like, forest. I mean, there should be plenty of room for me to go harvest as well. I'm gonna go look, for, look at it from back here. Hang on. Look at it. They look cool. The lemon trees are huge as well. I am very glad, very glad that we did them eight apart though, because they definitely need it. Um, maybe the apple trees needed it too. But actually, I think the apple trees will be okay. Uh, we'll see about the pistachio tree. <laughs> so there was me like being like, oh yeah, I don't need to water them anymore, and I totally did. And if that's the case and they're not bugged and I don't need to worry about them once they get to that that big stage of growth, then I'll be super happy. Sorry, what is going on? What? <sighs> Might pocket that. And if I now don't need to do the, the lemon trees and the macadamia trees and stuff like that, and I just need to do some of the ones at the front there, then that is also amazing. That orchard is going to be so, so nice. Okay, time to give Sebastian his sandwich. That is always my second thing of the day. But I'm quite happy now because I'm kind of like, oh, I think that uh, they are now grown to full height and they might not need watering quite as much. Okay, so, need anything? I forgot to return this cassette to Jackie. Can you return it for me, please? Sure, I will absolutely make a priority of that. And bread no sandwich hold for you cool beans i am awful nice i know i've got i've got 16 sandwiches one for your lunch every day yeah those apple trees those apple trees will look fine but they will be a little bit squished together tiny bit so I think um, future orchards, I may do eight by eight just for the whole thing, especially down in Wahoo Beach. I think in Wahoo Beach, I'll have like, I will have seven or eight squares between each tree. Cause I don't know what any of them are gonna be. There's gonna probably be like rows of so many different types of tree. It's gonna be insane. Right, now, Sister Joan, are you up and about yet? Is the next question. Also, I need to plant some barley today. I've decided. I'm sure I've got some barley seeds somewhere. I need to get my letter as well. Yeah, I'm quite happy now. Because, oh, kidney beans got done. Nice. 1,126 from that. So we're up to 10,000. Wonderful. I could definitely probably get enough for 20,000. So Sister Joan is my main priority today. And my delivery for Jackie. Delivery for Jackie first. I'm glad it puts it in like date order because it means I don't have to worry too much. So where's Jackie today? Oh gosh, just a second, the doorbell went. Okay, I am back. The guy had um, my massive kilo, I ordered a kilo of chai latte mix. <laughs> and he had that for me. Wonderful. Okay, so delivery for Jackie. Um, what's going on? Oh, it's because I'm frozen. Okay, woof. That was a worry. Also, I am so unfit. I'm like, ah, ah, I had to run up the stairs. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's 
not really unfit actually. It's kind of I'm getting there with uh, the the after effects of the the whole COVID You're thing. All right, kid. Uh, I bought a little too much of this. How about you take some off my hands as payment? Ten friendship points with Jackie. Would have rather had um oh coconut shrimp, nice. Would have way rather had the uh, friendship points with Sebastian. Maybe Jackie is Sebastian's friend. I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can find... Oh, there's Rose. Hello. Um... Oh, and Kamoko. Hmm. What do you think of the bug trading market? I think there's real potential there. I think there's no potential there. It's not that great. Uh, let's have a look. I've got some black irises for you. I saw Rose go past as well, so I'm going to give her something. Wonderful. Okay, so the next person. Rose, because she doesn't stay put for very long. And then let's go see sister. Uh... Oh, <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, let's put those away. If you have time, I posted a request on the town request board. There's so many outfits in so I don't want to burden my sisters. But I did your I did your quest. Dude. Oh, I did not. She needs six of them. Ugh. Okay, I know where I can get a sixth. Possibly. It is littered with scorpions, though. I thought it was five. But you know what? I'll probably just keep them. Let's not worry about it. Did I already give you a flower? can't remember what I did. I have like a hundred of them for you. Okay, so. What is Tessa? I bet Tessa is friends with everybody. What's Tessa like? Tess, 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 Tess. Oh, where, where are you? Where are you? On my big list. Tessa, there we are. Juice tea and beef. Okay. Beef, it's probably going to be a beef recipe that will be like the most liked there, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go and find next person. Sister Joan. Where are you, Sister Joan? Sister Joan is still sleeping. Okay, who's next on the list then? Vibat. Unpolished marble. Vibat is fishing down by the, the lake, so that's fine. And I'm hoping that the more of these I do, the more people's like friendships go up and like my my stat like if they're friends with Sebastian, that will help, you know? Oh, all right. Snooze. Huh? Oh, hey, I caught this just yesterday. It's all yours, little angler. 20 friendship. Lovely. Six friendship points with all of Vipat's friends. Lovely. And a herring. Thank you. I'll add it to all the fish in my fridge. I'm such a hoarder right now. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Wonderful. So what's next on my list? Rhubarb pie, rainbow trout. Oh, bluegill for Jamie. I could go and get that. Vipat also wants gold bar. Oh, uh, what are you saying to me? I don't know. Okay, Sister Joan, are you up yet? Yes, okay, cool. I knew she'd be up, uh, like, pretty soon. She's definitely an evening uh, lover, that one. And then I'll have a look at the notice board, see if there's any other things I need to do. Or that I could do that would help. So how are we doing with Sebastian now? I need to know. I, need, I, I, I do have to check these things like halfway through running somewhere because, you know, it helps. We are at a full two hearts now. I said that I'd be able to do that in four days. I was able to do it in, I think, two days. So that is wonderful. Um, oh yeah, Sister Joan. <laughs> oh. Sister Abigail coming out for a little chat. Graveyard ganger over there. This is adequate. It was adequate. 
Allow me to offer you a small reward, 20 friendship. Perfect, that's all I wanted really. And friendship points. And 90 gold. Yep, yeah, I'll take all of those, wonderful. Mm, I'm not gonna ask anybody if they need anything too much because I can't actually make good judgments on those. <laughs> So I'll do them if they're for Sebastian and that's it. Well, let's go check this notice board out. There's Orpheus as well. There's, there are a lot of really cool people. I just like him. He's really cute. Three gold bar for Tannis. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Lemon pudding. I could definitely get you some sugar. I can probably get... Oh, raw aluminium, absolutely. And I could probably get you some popcorn. Lemon pudding and key lime pie are not recipes I have. A gold bar is a little difficult. Um, I'm not picking up a ton of gold anymore for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not going in the mines enough, clearly. Okay, I did do the orchard, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'm gonna check. I'm paranoid about this orchard now. But um, yeah, the fact that there's another growth stage, I think has given me, yeah, there we are, has definitely given me a sort of bit of pause for thought there. <laughs> that uh, Maybe all is not lost with orchards, but I just didn't know how things worked. So yeah, a little embarrassing, but it's fine. We learn new things every day. Okay, so I think that, oh, Momo, you wanna come in, don't you? I think the next thing that I really want to do is to just, yeah, as I say, carry on with uh, getting Sebastian and, and Komoko to like me. They could maybe be my my friends or roommates or whatever. Um, possibly get married to Sebastian, don't know, we'll see. But I need to make some rhubarb pies for Blake. Ooh, this is getting a bit dangerous. Um, I think now all of the, all of the gems, we, they just need to be polished up, I think. See, that's why these trees didn't need watering. I watered them all the way up um, until the point where they grew into big trees. And now you see that they've got like that at the bottom. The pistachio though will probably get a bit bigger. I don't think it's gonna be as big as the apple trees though. I think the apple trees are really, really big. Maybe the, the apple trees should have had a bit more space. Don't really know. I've got some uh, eggs to pick up as well. But I think I can go in my house and probably make a load of stuff to sell. To try and aim for that 20k. I want to get barley planted as well. So let's go and see if I... First thing I'll do then is see if I've got any barley seeds. So we can try and, and also milk the cows. So I can see about finishing off this... Uh, Yeah, there we are. So I can see about finishing off this um, shipping quota for the month. I'm definitely getting there. It's pretty cool now that the festivals are pretty much just a, a big old excuse to to go shopping now and to maybe give people get extra. Oh, I've done all the honey, have I? Apparently so. And to give people like extra stuff. Um, extra, get extra points, giving them presents. It's pretty good. I don't even know when Sebastian's birthday is. One day I'll go and give him a present. He'll be like, hey, it's my birthday. Thank you so much. I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, the cinnamon tree's done. More cinnamon, more chai lattes. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go and have a look at my cooking and see if there's anything else that I can I can sell or make. Um, and then maybe maybe we'll try and polish up all those gems as well for a bit of extra money too. I need to make rhubarb pies with the rhubarb I bought as well. So let's make some. See if I can make some pie crusts. Can I make some pie crusts. I have no idea. Let's go to the pie section. Pie crust. I need butter. Okay, you know what I do have, which would be wonderful for making some butter, is I've got some macadamia nuts. Or I did. I will have to do rifle through my fridge to find them. I think I might just make a whole massive load of like strawberry jam or something as well. Yeah. I've got like 60. I've obviously had a couple of um, goes of that tree. That's just one tree, 60 macadamia nuts in a season off it. And it will do two seasons. They'll be active for two seasons out of four. So half the time they will be active. So I think it's something like two. Oh, five, okay. You get six butter out of one tree, which actually isn't too bad. Okay, so while that is doing its thing, I'm going to go milk the cows so I can try and get the stuff together for... Uh... Oh, they're all sleeping. Why are you sleeping? I want to milk you. Oh, it'll have to be tomorrow then, won't it? We'll do the milk one. Um... So that's fine. All right then, well, let's have a little look at maybe making some jam or something. Let's see how much how much sugar do I have. I probably need more, however much it is. So candy, for example, cherry candy, strawberry candy. I've got 403 strawberries. I've only got 66 sugar right now. Um, jam, strawberry jam, I would need a similar amount of sugar. Right, so I need to just work on making sugar. I probably have a lot of sugar beets. I've got I've actually got a, a curry now. Curry recipe. Woohoo! Curry powder. I bet that will be putting those curry leaves into the pestle and water. I'm getting quite a lot of the sushi, which is quite nice. But yeah, I'm just thinking of making a load of jam. Let's make uh, like 33 strawberry jam then. I can sell that. So honestly, like the, the most money will probably be made by bulk selling like things like jam. I'll also sell my glowing mushrooms. See, those grilled veggie sandwiches are worth 50 gold each as well. <laughs> Cakes are worth like 90 gold. So if I had more sugar and stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see about like maybe if there's anything in the windmill, and also I'm gonna like maybe make some more flour and things like that. I need to put things into the still as well. Uh, there's all sorts of things that I've got that I can put into the still. No, that's not what I want. I want to look through the fridge. Um, so many strawberries. I'm looking for sugar beet though. Okay, we don't have a ton of sugar beet now. We've only got about a hundred left. So I think I might need to start growing some more. Someone told me to put oranges in the still to see if we can make triple sec out of it. I'm guessing that's like a real life thing. We don't have much wheat and we don't have much sugar beet, I don't think. I think I've gone through them a bit. Hang on, we've got like 45 alcohols there that I could sell. Where were they? Yeah. I'm sell all of those. Okay, I'm gonna go put this sugar beet into the to the windmill. Aha, we had fifty sugar already there. Wonderful. So we'll leave that to do its thing. 
Uh, should I go and... Yeah, I'm going to go and do some gem polishing as well. We'll get that out in the in the shipping thing today, hopefully. So what we do with that is, as you may have realised, we have three gem polishing stations. And I use them all at the same time. And it saves me so much gem polishing time. It's unreal. If I had more, it would be even better. But I, th I actually think it's, it's kind of okay with what we've got there. Oh, hang on. Did I unpolish marble? Was actually a quest thing. So I want to just make sure that I did give it in. It was for... Yeah, no, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So if I wanted one sugar, I can probably have it. Close, please. That would help. So I just sit there swapping them about. Until they be ready. Come, 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 can you really? <laughs> I know, I, I, I'm terrible, I'm so bad. You need to throw me out in the bin. But I would definitely advise you, as soon as you can, get a load of gem polishing tables. <laughs> Do it. It's so much easier. Either that or maybe, like, keep a load of your gems together and then maybe when you get to, like, 50 or something, just chuck them in. Um, because otherwise you're just sat there for ages. Oh, so much Nelsonite. Where did that all come from? In fact, I did actually manage to pick up a lot of stuff. I really should uh, get my uranium sorted as well. And see if I can make myself another pick yet. I don't think I have enough yet. But you never know. Formaline in there. Um, Variscite. I don't think pyrite actually gets um, processed. I don't think it's one that you can do anything with. No, it is just on its own. I think I even took it to the museum uh, unprocessed as well. Zoocyte will go in though. Tungsten will need to be baked. Aether will need to be made into something, as will the Alexandrite. I'm just trying to make sure I haven't missed anything now. So some of these sell for very nice amounts of money. That cave is amazing, because everything's in one place. Um, anything else I haven't done? I think I did it all. It is like three in the morning though. Okay, so the next thing to check quickly. Oh, we've got some serious zuds going now, so let's just uh, get to bed. I'll throw, I'll chuck them in in the morning. I'll chuck them in in the morning. Uh, quick, 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 quick. Uh, five hours sleep. Thank you. And we'll go and do. We'll go and do the uh, the orchard. I'm hoping that the orchard won't need all doing a whiskey sour. Mmm, that's so nice. Edinburgh is like the place to go and get whiskey sours. It is so nice. Uh, Edinburgh knows about whiskies. It is the capital of whiskey country. <laughs> and it is where I like to go for a night out. But 
at the moment, there is no such thing as a night out, so I just have to wait until the lockdowns are over. And I've had a vaccine. Okay, everything's looking really nice and, and lovely around here, so I'm just going to have a quick look. Make sure there is nothing in my bag that I need to take to the museum in the way of gems, which there is not. Wow, they popped up all of a sudden, didn't they? So I'm going to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Aether, for example, 65. 35. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of gems here. Not my salt. You're not having that. No way. And that is fine for now. It's a fine amount of... Uh, there we are. Fine amount of space in my inventory and things at the moment as well. I'm not going to worry too much about getting it all sorted. I'm just going to grab the milk and send that off. Because that's the next thing. It will give me like 16... No, it won't actually though. I say it will get me another 1600, but it's not gonna... You only get like 400 for the animal ones, but it's fine. I just like having them about. They're, they're cool dudes. But yeah, I should have 20. I am hoping that all of this uh, this effort that I'm putting into everything... Where? Did all the rest of my milk go? Hang on. Did I put it in my fridge? I need to check. Then I will check my post, and then I will check the orchard. Um, milk, 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 milk. In the fridge? I don't know why I'm in the cooking thing. It's not going to be in there, is it? Organize. Thank you. Nope. Did I put it in here? Yes. Haha. <laughs> Right, so I'll sell 20 milk. I'll make me sell 21, that's fine. I'll sell my 21 milk and then uh, hopefully I will get a little bit of a, a boon from that. As well as all these beautiful gems I found trying to fulfill those quests for people. So it's, it's a good, it helps me with my money. Um, let's have a quick look at that shipping quota. So I think it was just barley to go, and I am growing barley, so that's fine. There might even be some barley in my fridge, actually. I'm sure I saw some. So we can maybe just hand 40 of it in and just get it all, all out of the way, all done. Which fridge, though? Which fridge is it in? 36? That's not enough. Oh, I'll have to wait. <laughs> Unless there's somewhere elsewhere. No, I've got all of that soy that I need to make into milk as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm too lazy, I know. I'm so lazy. But I have a, a, a good deal of hope about the orchard now. I don't think once it gets to that third stage, it's going to go backwards anymore. So I'm thinking it might be really cool. Oh, uh, I'm going the wrong way. My orchard's over here. Let's go and have a little look, shall we? So today, it looks like all of the pistachio trees. I think they might end up getting a... Uh, that, that's going to be like way too close together. But you live, you learn, I guess. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to test these out at, at this size. And then it was like, um, no, actually, they get way bigger. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yay. I think they're all okay. They have dried out, though. Oh, I don't know what to do. Do I leave them all except for the... Because those ones don't look dry. Okay, but anyway, regardless, I definitely, definitely need to water the pistachios. And you guys can learn about your own orchards from my experiences. <laughs> I 
I'm sure there'll be loads of you. I'm, I'm recording a few episodes ahead, so probably there'll be going to be loads of you when I put up the episode. I haven't put it up yet, where uh, where everything goes, everything dies. So you're going to be like, oh, but Sheila, there's like another growth stage you need to do. Don't stop watering them now. <laughs> like, And I'll be like, ah, uh, yeah, I did find that out eventually. That's what I will be replying to you. I did find that out eventually, but I am a few episodes ahead. So some of these things, basically, if I'm a few episodes ahead, it means that I don't have to worry about spoilers. It does seem to me like things that don't need watering already have, you know, they don't have the watering thing on, so... I mean you're a fully grown cinnamon tree probably because those ones at the end were were less well grown so these these cherry trees they look already done these don't these lemon trees don't though but i think yeah i think i think they are okay they're not telling me to water them anymore at all so yeah okay i think i got the hang of trees now and if it tells you to water them at the base keep watering if it doesn't don't worry about it um there are three stages to growth of the tree you have to water them in stage one and stage two there sometimes is a bug where they go back to saplings but i don't know i don't know maybe it's not a bug maybe people just don't understand how it works this is just from things i've looked at online you see so I think this orchard's going to be okay now. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be okay. Maybe a little squish, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be good. And um, the other thing I will probably do soon is remove my house, take that away. And then what I might do is plant some more apple trees, maybe a little bit more spaced out. And I might then take away the row of apple trees and maybe replace it with cinnamon trees or something like that. But that'll be for another year. I'm pretty happy with everything as it is right now. So, yay. Right, let's go find out what money I've got. And that is not taking me as long now as I as I was worried about and everything like that. Sorry, I'll zoom out a bit for you guys. Um, everything's not taking as long and I'm super happy and it's all really cool. So I'll go and make some rhubarb pies later as well. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at this. Any Any easy stuff. Morning glory. I don't know where to get that. I would have to go around looking for it. Dragon fruit, raw silver. I could probably do one raw silver. I'm almost certain I can get a chamomile tea going. The rest, feta salad, no. Black bean, corn salad, no. Morning glory, no. Dragon fruit, no. So just take the easy ones, try and get them done. And then I just have a look every day at what's coming up that I need to do soon, and then I just go for it. Seems to work quite well. I know I have a lot of the fish. I don't know if I have the rainbow trout, though. Why does that never want to close? That's a bit weird. Okay, let's see how much money I've got. 1,520. Lovely. So, how much? 12,000. Okay. Okay. Question is, do we go to Diamond Falls? No, actually, let's not. Let's not. Let's try and go earlier in the day at some point. I haven't given Sebastian his sandwich yet either. My gratitude. 20 extra friendship with Kimoko. And there are people in the other areas I would like to try and make friends with, and I may start to base myself like up in the other areas if I'm particularly working on that. Um, but it, it's almost like you've got three whole games going on. Like most games give you one place that you've got to worry about. This game gives you three, so I think it'll take several... Oh, actually, I'm not going to go across your land. It'll probably take me several years to properly get everybody up to the full amount of like social and all of that stuff. But I'll see how you guys are doing with it. If you guys are still interested, if you're still watching. If you are, we'll carry on. 
and so far honestly we're 40 episodes in and a lot of you are still really interested in this so i'm super super happy thank you so much by the way i didn't sell my beer i want to make so many pancakes as well out of all that honey or mead do i make mead or do i make pancakes Ooh. i don't know but we want to make like another eight thousands worth uh, there's a whole load of gems in the cell box today so there's every chance that by next time because today will be the last day of this of this little uh episode but probably by the time i've finished right let's let's go to the still and stick um oh there's vodka i can sell as well gosh i've just been leaving things is there anything in the beer barrels? No, there's nothing in the beer barrel. Okay, let's uh, go to the fridge. I'm gonna try and stick a watermelon in the still. No, I can't. Can I put strawberries in? No, I can't. Can I put rice in? Can I put ground rice in? Do I need to put it in my inventory before I'm allowed to put it in? No, okay. So no, no people who are saying sake, um, unless it's the cooked rice, there's every chance that that could be a thing. Let's go a wee bowl. I'm sure I had some cooked rice in here. Where's it gone? Where's all my cooked rice gone? I know I had some. I had loads of bowls of cooked rice. Oh, there we are. Um, let's try sticking that into the still. I know everything's getting kind of crazy now. Ah. Uh... Oh, the still's behind the beer barrel. There we are. No, I tried rice. I've tried cooked rice. I've tried normal rice. I've tried everything. It doesn't work. Okay. Oh, there's a couple of chamomile flour there for that chamomile tea I need to make, which is wonderful. Um, yeah, so I'll just stick some potatoes in the still, and then I'll stick some wheat into the... I think I've got enough flour right now. Some wheat or some barley, maybe. Into the beer barrel. Hmm? Surely barley, barley is what's meant, meant to make beer, right? Oh, I know. Bags of barley, I expect. Let's go grind some barley up. And then I can maybe harvest my lettuces and things. I'm getting paranoid now, but I, I, did, I did go to my orchard today, didn't I? Yes, I did. I'm sure I did. Barley, where'd that barley go? Ah! Annoying! It was in the fridge the whole time. So we've got 36 barley there. And then there was some more in the other fridge, wasn't there? Can't remember which fridge though. I know I will have to organise these eventually, but just leave me alone. I got lots to do. <laughs> and if you don't leave me alone, I'll do this voice again. Wow. So let's um, grind a little bit of that barley up. I can do a hundred. Nice. So we can do a hundred beer. Come back in a minute for that. Maybe do a little harvest tea on the way.
See, part of me with the orchard is like, oh, I need to redo those apple trees. And part of me is like, nah, leave them. They'll be fine. There we are. Plenty of lettuces to carry on making Sebastian some uh, sandwiches. Once I get some tomatoes in the summer, I might need to get another few. Just enough to cover the first bits of the summer months, possibly. But for now, those lettuces can just go in the fridge. The thing is, the fridges don't need to be too like well organised because you can always pull from them. Um, it's just when I need to find things for beer making and experimentation and stuff, I need to know where they are. Can be a bit of a pain. Put all of that away. I'm going to sell the vodka. I'm going to make a load of pancakes, I think, just for the, to use the honey up. I, uh, I'm going to see what else I can make. There's got to be loads of stuff I can make. I can make loads of strawberry juice, blackberry juice, raspberry juice. I make black tea. I make chamomile tea. Let's make one for Sister Joan. Okay, lovely. So we'll keep that in my inventory and give that to Sister Joan when I can. Spinach and strawberry. I might be actually better off selling the, the spinach turnip things. I'm not sure. So I'll check on that before I make that. I can make some soups. Got a little bit of salt for that. I might just keep the salt. I need it for things like soy sauce. Blackberry jam. I can make some more strawberry jam now. I can make about 50 of that because I've got more sugar. Which is very wonderful. So that'll sell for a little bit. I definitely think I could make some pancakes with all the honey. I don't see them though. Hmm. What am I missing for pancakes then? Is it does it need sugar? I used up all the sugar. So like cinnamon cake is cinnamon, sugar and batter. And I need, yeah, I'm gonna need sugar and batter and things for these cakes. They're a bit of a pain. Pie crust, oh, I need the butter for that. Hang on, let me get the butter out of the thing. I need to make my rhubarb pie. I might need sugar for that as well. I really shouldn't have used up all the sugar, oops. I can make more, it's fine. 12 macadamia butter. I've uh, got some soybeans in there that need to be topped up for some more milk. Um, got a load of vegan cheese. And sell the vegan cheese. Vegan cheese sells for a good amount, so. Or I can make it into pizza and stuff, but I don't think it actually sells for enough more. If you make it into things, then the vegan cheese sells on its own. So it sells for 50, which is really good. Okay, so I wanted to make pancakes. So I'm going to go to cakes and pies and have a look and see if I can find pancakes. That's all pies. Okay. Um, pumpkin cookies. Where the pancakes? Where are the pancakes? They're not counting as a cookie. They're not counting as a... I made them. Am I going past them? It was honey and flour. I know I'd made them before. Hang on, let's get some flour out and experiment with it quickly. It might be that I only made it... I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know, but I've got a load of honey and a load of flour, so... Let's go make something. Cooked pancakes. Right, so now... I should definitely have cooked pancakes on the list. There we are. I've got 92 honey. So, and pancakes sell again for like 50. So let's make 60 pancakes. I'm certain I made pancakes. With, maybe I didn't. Maybe I, maybe I just imagined it. No, I have not. 
Ah, that's why. Okay, so now, yeah, but I knew the recipe, so I was probably like thinking I'd done it because I knew the recipe. But there we go, so I can hand those all in. All the jam. I think this is going to be a good day. All the vegan cheese, all the jam, and the pancakes, and the vodka. And 45 wheat beer. And more pancakes. So the wheat beer is 30, the vodka is 40, the pancakes are 50, and the jam is 40 as well. And then the vegan cheese is 50. And there's multiples of all of them, plus all of those gems. So, you're going to have to come back tomorrow to find out how much money I make. And whether that will be enough to purchase me a plot. So this is coming along now. Like, this last couple of episodes, things have really come, uh, like, full circle. They've really come, come around. Um, I have been struggling a little bit to get things to work. Like struggling to get that orchard off the ground but now I feel a lot more confident that all I have to do is just work on it for a few more days than I thought I had to and it should be all pretty cool the beehives you guys are saying I should get more beehives and I do plan to I don't know how much the beehives will work next to trees though because you guys are like oh you know put the beehives next to the trees it'll be so cool it'll be as if they're pollinating but I might need to put like a couple of sneaky flowers in just to get that to work I don't know if they'll work on the trees alone I don't know if the if the game has that much um has that much depth okay so do I try and make cakes or anything I don't know I could try and make a load of soups actually, but I've only got 23 salt. Um, we could make juices, that sell for a lot. Juices will prob we'll probably run out of sugar when I get all that fruit off the trees, so it's going to probably be quite important. Make dough, I can make cornbread. Right, let's make three pie crusts. I need to make those rhubarb pies for my thing for my quest I don't have any pasta recipes that's crazy give me pasta recipes I need to I do need to get some recipes off the TV today still as well uh, so bread cookies experiment actually let's have a look at what cakes and pies generally take like pies particularly so I need a rhubarb pie a cherry pie is sugar pie crust and cherries, so I'm thinking sugar pie crust and rhubarb. So we need more sugar. So I'm just gonna. I think it was barley over here, wasn't it? That we were making bags of barley. So I'm gonna make myself a hundred beer with that. So let's collect that. I don't have any sugar beet on me. Right, let's run back to the house get some sugar beet. Sorry, I should have collected that before I came out, shouldn't I? Let's stick the, the thing in the, the beer barrel, the barley into the beer barrel. I want to know how much proper beer goes for. 35. Oh, wheat beer goes for more. So apparently it's quite good to give to people though. I gave them wheat beer and that was wrong. I'm also running, around, running back with no, <laughs> no sugar beets. I keep talking, that's why. I should stop talking, right? I'd make these let these let's plays way better. Just trying to find the sugar beets. I know I've got more. Yeah, I've got like a hundred more to make sugar with, and then I will need to grow some more. So I'll just make another fifty or so. Um, and then hopefully that will make me the rhubarb pies that I need. There we go. I'll make some more dough and I'll see, see if that makes uh, some more stuff pop up in the recipe list. Also, you guys, um, let, let's see if oranges make triple sec. 
as you wanted me to check that out. And you also wanted me to check out blackberries in the still, I think, as well. So we could do all of those. Dum, dum, dum. Triple sec. Yes, it does. Three oranges for triple sec. So when I go to Piscari Isle, I need to go pick up the oranges. And make them into triple sec. And then I can make all sorts of interesting things. Right, so you wanted me to try blackberries as well. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take out a few of these bags of barley. Oh no, sorry about that. Put them in here and see if we get whiskey. Because I'm sure it's a barley mash. Yeah, we can make our whiskey sours. How much does whiskey sell for? 50? Well, that's all right. And it takes three of three bags of barley. And how much does beer take? It takes two and it sells for 35. They're so probably about equivalent to each other. Okay, so you also wanted me to try blackberries. If we have any blackberries, do we? Yes, we do have some blackberries. Let's take those, put them in the still. And they might make something like gin, maybe. Um, it'd be a bit weird because gin is junipers, but oh yeah, blackberries do do something. Okay. And it's brandy. Ah. And then there were some of you wanted me to do sugar as well, so. Um, I'm making all the alcohol today. <laughs> Let's go and see if we've got uh, if the sugar's already. Oh, a lot of it is. It's not quite there, but enough for our purposes. So I'm gonna put some sugar in the still, and then I'm also gonna put some sugar into the rhubarb pies. They've got whiskey and brandy and triple sec. <laughs> Actually, this is the probably the like, the biggest amount of like alcoholic drinks I've ever known in a game. <laughs> Make beer, triple sec, brandy, whiskey. I think we might be about to make rum, possibly. No, we are not. Okay. But I've somehow lost eight bags of sugar in the process. Lovely. Well done. <laughs> so, um, let's, I think I put my rhubarb in this fridge. So I need to get my rhubarb out. My special, special rhubarb, because it only grows up in Diamond Falls, so I have to buy extra bits of it. Um, so rhubarb. Experiment. Pie crust. Where's my pie crusts? There they are. Sugar. And rhubarb, and I think that should make me a rhubarb pie, if, if the other things are to be yes nice okay so i should have enough for another couple of rhubarb pies and uh, so those will be those done so i need two more chop boil bake okay so that's my three rhubarb pies for that quest i've got the chamomile tea i think it was only one that was wanted i hope it was only one Three rhubarb pie, one chamomile tea. So they're already done. Now, do I have any corn for popcorn? I do have a little bit of corn. I don't think I've got, and I've got some oil. Okay, so should have that should be enough for popcorn. I'm sure I had a popcorn recipe. I do. Yes, we can make popcorn. How many was needed? I think it was only one. Got loads of stuff we can hand in. So the popcorn for Rose. Um, the, we could get the bluegill out as well, and check if we've got the rainbow trout. All right. So bluegill. Don't need that. Do we have rainbow trout? We have two, but not three. So I'd need to try and catch another one. Um, I'm almost certain I can get the aluminium and the silver. And then the gold bar. The gold bar might be harder. But I can definitely do the rhubarb pie, the bluegill, the popcorn, and the chamomile tea. Oh, sugar as well. Okay. 
I'll just grab the rest of the sugar off of the windmill, which will probably be done by now, and then I'll head to bed, and then we can have a whole day of just like handing people presents, and that will be wonderful. I think. So that's going to be the end of today's episode. Everything is going so much better. I am so happy with the orchard right now. I'm super happy with the potential. I'm hoping to make 8k by tomorrow. I don't know if I'll quite manage it. I should have like, I should have a little bonus for the milk. Um, I don't have... Actually, I said I didn't have enough barley. But I had like nearly 100 barley, but we'll, we'll have to wait for that. Um, so once the barley's ready, we'll get another little bit of money for, for handing that in. So that'll be another 1600. Um, let's grab the cooking channel thing. So I'm hoping, fingers very, very crossed, oh, meatballs, nice, that we will see sea tan. I need to know how to make sea tan. I think I should go and check in the library and make sure absolutely because people said sometimes there's like stuff on how to make the substitutes in the library. So we maybe make sure that uh, it doesn't have how to make tofu and sea tan in there. But let's go to bed until about six in the morning and then we'll go and check on the orchard and everything. I'll see if there's money and we might be able to even start setting up our next orchard by uh, by the beginning of summer. I'd be really happy with that. And then I can start going to markets, trying to find all the bits and pieces I need. And then maybe in the autumn, we might even be able to start our first Wahoo Beach one. Maybe even before. But uh, I do need to, you need to tend the saplings before you can really leave the orchard alone to its own devices. So I do like to try and set them up one at a time. I think more than that might be a little bit difficult and it'll be hard to do things around it, um, like all the social stuff I'm wanting to do. So anyway, let's have a sleep. Thank you all very much for watching the episode. Uh, if you liked it, then please do leave me a like below. We'll see how much money we made. It's raining today, so hopefully that will be a good day uh, for everything. Um, fingers crossed. So yeah, if you liked it, then please leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.